Okay, so today what I'm going to talk about is the shortcut to doing a die hybrid cross. So this was the homework uh, problem that I gave you guys last night. Okay, and so right, I showed you last time how to do the full Punnett square. Right, when you cross your big R, little r, big Y, little y, with another big R, little r, big Y, little y. Now that takes a long time because it takes it takes about 15 minutes is what it took me uh, to do the Punnett square. So my, my job right now is to show you guys how to do a shortcut. Okay, so you can think of these two as being like two little separate Punnett squares. So you can divide these guys in half. Okay, so where you have these two, big R, little r, crossed with a big R, little r. And we've already done that before where we did a big R, little r, cross the big R, little r. Okay, and so we do the Punnett square. So you do big R and a little r, big R and a little r. And you draw a Punnett square around it. Right? And so, pretty simple. Right? So we'd say big R, big R. Okay? Big R, little r. Big R, little r. Okay? And a little r, little r. So a question to ask you, how many of them were round and yellow? Okay? So round and yellow. Okay? Remember, to be round, you have to have at least one big R. And you have to have one big Y. Okay? So... I would find that in this case that three of them are round. Okay, so my ratio would be three over one round. Okay, but my question is asking how many of them are round and yellow. Okay, and so now what we can do, right, we can make it so now we're going to do the other the other ones. So we're gonna do the big Y, little Y with a big Y, little Y. Now these are all these are all the same. So you have big Y, little Y, cross with a big Y, little Y, and you do your Punnett square. And when you do that, what you'll find is you have two big Y's, big Y, little Y, big Y, little Y, okay, and then you'd have one little Y, little Y. Okay, and so what you would find is that you would find three of those would also be three over to four would be yellow. Okay, and so to find that, what you would do is you'd multiply those two together. When you multiply fractions, all you do is multiply the top by the bottom. Okay, so you would say three times three is nine. Okay, four times four would be sixteen. Okay, so that will tell you that you have nine out of sixteen. Okay, and in doing that. Now you can also figure out how many of them are going to be red. All right, so that's one. So then we would have 9 out of 16 would be red and yellow. To do the other one, so we do round and green. Okay, so round, we already have the fraction. So we'd have 3 out of 4. So we'd have the same thing. Right, but instead of being 3, this time it would only be 1. So now... You would have 3 over 4 times 1 over 4, which would give you 3 out of 16. So you say 3, right, and so on and so forth. And that's, those are the shortcuts to how to do the, how to do the Punnett squares.